Hello students, welcome back to my channel Concept Plus. Students, I am Daniel, your teacher, and I'll be teaching you physics. In the previous video, we have learned about electricity and electric charge. Today, we are going to learn about two important aspects. These are electric potential and potential difference. And yes, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, like the video, and please share among with your friends. Okay, students, let us start our first topic that is electric field. Electric field is the space or the region around a charged body, let us say a proton or electron within which its influence can be felt by another charge. Let us suppose that there are two charged, opposite charged protons and electrons kept in one place. And you can see that there is a circular region around them where the force can be experienced, their attraction can be experienced. So that region is known as electric field. I hope you understand this part about electric field very well. Moving on to the next. It is about electric potential. You know the term potential, it means ability to do some work, ability to do something. So let us take a scenario, a man is trying to push this board. So what do you think he needs? He needs, of course, the energy. With the help of this energy, the man will be able to push this board from one point to another point. Similarly, students, when a unit positive charge is placed in the electric field, let us take two positive charge together, then the unit positive charge will experience a force of repulsion. Since positive and positive are like charges, therefore they will experience a force of repulsion. Here some work is done in moving a unit positive charge from one place to another. There will be a force of repulsion, uh, so one positive charge will go away from the other positive charge. And in that case, work is set to be done. Now students, let us define what is electric potential. Electric potential at a point in an electric field is defined as the work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to that point in the electric field. What do I mean by saying this? Let us suppose inside a conductor a unit positive charge is moving from the infinity to another point, let us say point A. Then in this case, the work is said to be done in moving the unit positive charge from infinity to the point A. Now let us deduce the relationship between charge, work done and the potential difference. Okay, let W be the work done in moving a charge Q from infinity to a point in the electric field. Then the electric potential which is given by V at that point will be given by the formula potential or electric potential equals to work done upon charge which can be represented as V equals to W by Q where V is electric potential, W is work done and Q is charge. Also the SI unit of potential is volt and it is denoted by the English alphabetical letter V. Okay guys now let us dive into the new topic that is potential difference. Before actually starting about this topic let us try to understand potential difference with a small game called tug of war. Basically in this game uh, there are two teams on the left two players and on the right two players exactly having same number of players 
So let us assume that both the players have same energy, that means same potential. So what do you think and which team will win? Of course, uh, uh, neither of these teams will win because both have equal number of players and same amount of energy. But on the right hand side, if I consider this picture, you can see that on the left side of the team, we have two players and on the right side, they have only one player. So it is unequal number of players. So what do you think which team will win? Of course, the left team which have two players will win. Now students, let us try to understand what is the difference with different scenario and different example. So uh, let me take one uh, picture in which there are two tanks with equal volume of water, tank A and tank B. And another tank, uh, there are two tanks, tank A and tank B similarly, but the tank B has been lifted up. Now on the left side, uh, water does not flow from one tank to another that's because they are in the equal level and equal height but on the right side of the picture you can see that the tank b is uh, raised up and has thus gained more potential energy therefore the water from tank b will flow towards tank a until and unless both the tanks tank a and tank b will have the same level of water Similarly, uh, if you will compare the energy levels of protons and electrons, it is found that the energy level of electrons is more than that of the protons. So, whenever you keep these protons and electrons together, uh, since the energy level of electrons is more, therefore, the electrons will move towards proton. In other sense, we can say that protons will attract electrons. Moreover, we also know that opposite charge always attract each other. So whenever you keep these opposite charges together, then they will be affected. But there is a question after this. We can ask a question that what actually maintain the potential energy difference between this proton and electron? The answer is very simple, it is actually the source of energy. Any source of energy which is present in the electric circuit will maintain the potential difference between protons and electrons. So either it could be a cell or it could be a collection of cells which is known as battery. Now let us uh, try to understand uh, the, with the help of a uh, circuit, so we have a cell and a uh, connecting wire let us say copper wire uh, and these wires are connected from positive terminals of the battery to the negative terminals of the battery using a bulb we can use this bulb and see whether the bulb will glow or not eventually it is found that the bulb will glow and that's because of the energy level differences between proton and the electrons so these electrons will start moving towards the protons in in, in a way that it will always go from negative to the positive as you can see the arrow in the diagram given here so you can see the arrow is moving eventually from negative to positive and that's because the energy level of electron is more than that of the protons And also, you can see that the cell is responsible for the pressure difference between, between the protons and the electrons. Or we can say the, the potential difference between them is because of the cell. Okay, students, finally we can define what is potential difference. If you have to write the definition of uh, the potential difference in exam, then you can write in this manner. 
A uh, potential difference between two points in an electric circuit is defined as the amount of work done in moving a unit charge from one point to the other. And that we can write in this way. Uh, potential difference is equals to work done by quantity of charge moved. So I'll repeat again, work done by quantity of charge moved. Now let us assume that W work is done in moving a uh, charge, Q charge, then the potential difference will be given by V and that will be V is equals to W by Q. Now V is potential difference, W is work done and Q is the charge that has been moved from one point to the other point. The SI unit of potential difference is also volt as that of electric potentials. Okay students, hope you like the video and you have understood those topics on electric potential and electric potential difference. Please stay tuned for the next video that I'll be uploading and please remain positive, be positive, study hard, work hard. And yes, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon, like the video and please do not forget to share among your friends. Thank you friends, thank you students, we'll meet you in the next video class, bye bye.